Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2022 Nissan Armada and we're going to do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before doing the installation on the front panel. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss black material in order to match the middle section of the panel and also just to black it out as well. The link for the product will be provided below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before we start with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the entire panel. So all we need is water and baby shampoo mixed together in a spray bottle. Once you have your solution, spray it onto a clean microfiber towel and make sure to remove all the contaminants that the front panel may have. And then once you're done prepping the panel, make sure that everything's completely dry. That way the adhesive on the film is able to tack down to the panel and it doesn't lift over time. Now with this one, make sure you have the hood open in order to access the top section layer of the panel or you could have it completely up. So we're going to start by placing this film underneath the grill in order to cover the chrome on the lower section of the panel. So with this one, you can start by aligning it either here or on the other end. It doesn't really matter, just make sure wherever you start, you align it on the edge and you would carefully just work your way until you reach to the other end. And just make sure you're covering all of the chrome, nothing is showing. And if you need to lift it and readjust it, you can. You would just carefully do it, lift it and readjust it. Make sure all of the chrome is being covered. So just finish off aligning it until you reach to this edge. Once you place the film, grab your squeegee to start tagging it down to secure it. And for this section, you are going to have a little bit of material. This material, you can just wrap it on top. Just make sure before you do that, to secure this whole section, removing the air that may be trapped underneath the body line here, and then we could squeegee up. So let's remove any air if there is any. And now we can apply heat just to help it tack down faster and also avoid having any fingers around this curve here. So just apply heat, tack everything down, and then we're good to go. So now that we finished installing the lower piece, now we can start with the next section. So with this one, it covers from here, all of this up to here. So just place the film. And with this one, you can start by aligning it on the curve and then it should follow through until you reach to the top. So hold it and just place it. Make sure it follows everything. You can always relift it to readjust it and then just tag it down. But before we tag it down, just finish off aligning it until you reach it to the other end. First start from one end, work your way until you reach it to the other one. And for this one, you're only covering this middle section. There is gonna be another piece that covers the top section. Once you place the film and it's aligned, now we can start tagging it down. Like I mentioned, if you need to lift it to remove any fingers, in order to avoid creasing it, you can. Just make sure you place it back down and you don't accidentally misalign it. For this one, you just have to make sure this section is covered. So you can always just lift it, hold it, and squeegee to tag it down. And just finish off everything, remove all the air, and then we'll come back and seal the edges by applying heat. Now all we need to do is apply heat to seal all of the edges. Just be careful not to crease the film if you do have any fingers. Just make sure to work with those fingers down. And then once we seal all of this, we can move on with this middle piece. So when it comes to installing the middle section, it's the same concept as how we did it with this outer section. We just need to make sure we align it from one end. Once we align it from one end, work way to the other side. So with this one, I'll show you guys how it looks on this end. And you would just align it, take it down, and repeat it to the edge here. So with this one, find the curve area of the film, which is this one here. You could place it there to align it. 
and just make sure you follow wherever you left off on this section that way you cover the chrome until you reach it to the top edge here make sure all of the chrome is being covered if you need to lift it to realign it you can and once this side is tacked down go to the middle and then finish aligning it on that side So now that we place the film, we're going to carefully start squeegeeing from the middle. Make sure to remove all the air, help the film tack down. And when it comes to the curved area, we're going to apply a little bit of heat and just help it tack down little by little until everything sits. And then once this is good, work our way to the top and then finish off that side as well. So apply a little bit of heat on the curved area. Let the film cool down and then with your finger, Little by little, help it tack down to the curve. And you can always lift it, hold the film, apply heat to help remove any fingers, and then tack it down. You can use your squeegee, squeegee at an angle, that way we don't accidentally crease the film. And once this is tacked down, like I mentioned, finish the top, and then work your way to that end. And with this one, you could tuck in the film in between the panel and the grill. Since there is a big gap, you could tuck it in. Okay, and just the same sets that we're doing here. Do it on that end, and then we're done. Okay, now that we finished all the side panels here, now we can move on with this section here. So with this one, it's just making sure you align it wherever you left off. Make sure everything's being covered on the bottom and you have enough material to cover the chrome on this side. So place it. And as you're placing it, make sure, like I said, all of the chrome is being covered. And you can always re-lift the film in case you do need to lift it. So just, if you need to lift it, lift it carefully and try not to crease it and then just place it back down. And now we can just focus on tacking everything down. So make sure to remove all the air that's underneath the film and then work your way pushing all the air here. So secure this and work your way to the outer section of the panel. So lift it and then little by little work it down. Chrome's being covered on the bottom. Perfect. Everything's covered here and just tack it down to the curve here. You can also apply heat just to help it tack down around the curve and then we will just trim off any extra material that we have here since we don't need to cover this part here. With this one you could lift the excess material just a little bit up and you could tuck in as much as you can since there is a small gap here between the grill and this section of the panel. That way you don't have to trim off too much excess material and it's still covering the chrome. So lift it, tuck in as much as you can. And just do the same for the bottom section. And now we can trim off the excess material. So there is a gap, like I mentioned, right in the middle. Find that gap and just carefully trim off the material. No chrome showing, good to go. Apply heat to seal it around the edge and then we move on to the next piece. For this piece, same exact installation as how we did it for the side piece here. It's just aligning it, taking it down and work your way up. Make sure all of the chrome is being covered and you should be good. Remove all of the air. Help it tack down on the top. Apply heat just to help remove any fingers if there is any and you should be good. And you would do the same step as we did here to this one. And then once these two are done, move on to the last piece on top. 
So like I mentioned, same process when it comes to installation. The only thing you might need to worry about is to trim out the X material on this end, like how we did it here. That's pretty much it. So for this last piece, all we need to do is just make sure we align it and it's covering the entire chrome. You could even bring it more down if you want, that way you don't have to trim off excess material. It's personal preference up to you, just as long as everything's being covered, you should be good. So once you place it, grab your squeegee and tack everything down, remove any air if there's any, tack everything down, and to trim off the excess material, create the outline on top and then enter your blade and then trim off excess material. And that's pretty much it. And all of the steps that were done from this side, you would repeat it to the other end and then to finish it off, we would post seat the entire panel. So once we finish with the entire installation, the last thing to do is to apply heat. That way we help the adhesive on the film activate faster. So make sure you go section by section and post heat the entire grill. And then take your time when you're doing this. And then once you're done with this step, you're done with the installation. Thank you for choosing Bower Tech Design. As a small business, your support means everything to us. If you loved your product, please drop a review. If you have questions or issues, don't forget to message us via email. Once again, thank you so much for the support from our family to yours. So that concludes the installation video for the front grill Chrome Delete installation for the 2022 Nissan Armada. We hope that the video helped you guys out with the installation. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.